JLM Lubricants Professional Range saves workshops time and money, but only if used correctly and safely. These instructions show how you can make the most from our chemical expertise. When sooty diesel exhaust gas meets sticky oil mist, they form a sludge that accumulates within the engine intake. This chokes engines of fresh air and raises harmful exhaust emissions. It also results in a power loss and higher fuel bills. JLM Diesel Intake Extreme Clean Treatment removes these harmful deposits. JLM Lubricants Diesel Intake Extreme Clean Treatment is an alternative to costly dismantling and cleaning. It is also ideal preventative maintenance to keep not just the intake clean, but its ability to survive high temperatures also benefits the turbo and EGR system. The kit comes with a selection of Venturi discs to accommodate different intake diameters. Select the one most appropriate for your engine. Remove any ducting to access the intake. No fluid must flow into the intercooler or through any corrugated ducting. This reduces the risk of the fluid collecting and too much entering the cylinders at once, which could cause hydraulicking. Before handling any chemical, wear watertight gloves that comply with EN374 and tight sealing goggles, in addition to long-sleeved oil-resistant clothing. If the engine will not start with the intake pipe disconnected, unplug the mass airflow sensor, but do not forget to later, clear any resultant fault code. If possible, inspect the EGR valve. Should it be contaminated, consider using JLM EGR cleaner. Mark two lines on the translucent pipe, 12 cm apart. Then, attach the end to your chosen Venturi disc. With the engine idling, fit your chosen Venturi disc onto the intake. Engine vacuum will hold it in position. You may have to remove the EGR vacuum supply pipe, if one is fitted. The process commences with shaking and pouring the Step 1 cleaning fluid into the kit's pot, before tightening it into the gun body. Getting the flow rate correct is essential. This is controlled by a variable valve. Aim to have each air bubble taking 10 seconds to travel 12 centimeters down the tube. This is indicated by the two lines that you marked earlier. It takes at least 45 minutes for the pot to be emptied. Time the fluid drip rate throughout the procedure and adjust the valve continually throughout the process. Shut the stop cock and cut the engine. Wait 10 minutes so the cleaning fluid can soak. The next step involves filling the kit with flushing fluid and repeating the process, not forgetting the importance of monitoring the flow rate. Once the flushing process is complete, dismount the tool and reassemble the intake system. You will need to perform a road test of at least 6 miles. Start at low load and reduced engine speeds, before building both parameters gradually to cover the whole rev range and several full throttle applications. The car may enter an active DPF regeneration, which you should allow to complete. On your return, with the engine idling, check for fault codes. Once your diagnostics are complete, dose JLM engine oil flush before performing an oil change as part of the intake cleaning treatment. Add the JLM diesel injector cleaner as well. In severe cases, use the JLM diesel extreme clean. This ensures that not just the engine, but also the fuel system is cleaned and revitalized. Empty bottles can be recycled with waste oil containers. The kit and the hose should be rinsed with water, 